Hello, I think we are live. We are just getting a little loading. Facebook is having that connecting live option. Um, yeah, I think we're great. I think we're live. Hope all is well. Hello. Um, give me a second while I just set up us in Pal Talk. Let me just do one little thing. Here, let's see. Okay, there we go. All righty. Sorry, the internet is being a little bit um, weird right now. So let's just get this set up. My connection is lost. Da 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 da. Okay. We're here. We're getting us set up in the app. If you want to join me in Michelle's room, I would love that. Let me just get us set up here. All right, now we are live in both places. Oops, I just dropped my phone right there. And yeah, I just got my mic. Let's see um, how this is working. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. I am very proud of myself for finding a mic that worked. A part of me was a little nervous that I would accidentally buy the wrong type of thing. But yeah, I think we are all good. Yay, good job. I'm very proud of us. Okay, um, so I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder in Facebook Live, and you know when it gets kind of like delayed and it looks like everything is a second slower? Um, yeah, so that's happening right now, but it is all good. Okay, also this mic is a little bit odd because I tried clipping it onto my shirt like you're supposed to, but it wasn't really working that well, so it was a little odd. So for now, we're just gonna have me holding it like this, and we'll see um, how things get better. Um, let me scroll through the comments. Hello, um, Reza. Hello, um, Tamir. Hello, James. Hello, Amir. Hello, everyone, um, for commenting. I always really appreciate seeing familiar names, familiar faces. It's always nice to see you guys and know that you're doing well. Um, so if you are new here, I always love to ask if you'd like to um, comment your name, where you're from, your pal talk nickname, how life is going, how your day is going. Basically, um, yeah, just like what is up with all of you. It's always um, nice to hear. It always makes my day to know that you're all doing well and yeah, that life is good. Um, for those of you who do not know me, hi, hello, how are you? My name is Michelle and I do streams for us here on Facebook and in Pal Talk in my room, Michelle's room. We have these chats Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard and Thursdays at 3.30 Eastern Standard. So if you wanna come um, hang out, we would love to have you. And if you do ever miss the live, that is totally fine. You could always re-watch them on Facebook um, if you'd like. You can watch them with friends, you can watch them alone, either way is great. And I always read the comments after the stream. So even if you miss the actual live video, you could totally go back and comment later on and I will um, be sure to follow up with you. Um, thank you, Peyton, for leaving um, your comments. Thank you for leaving um, your nickname, where you're from. It's always great to see, um, yeah, like what's going on in your life. And yeah, it's Monday morning right now. We're getting closer to the afternoon, obviously. Um, for me anyways, in my time zone. So feel free, um, let me know how is your week going? How is your day going? How was your weekend? Um, what is up? Um, yeah, just a little scrolling through the comments here. Um, yeah, I had a really great weekend. I went on a little hike for about um, four hours. So that was really, really fun. Um, I did get a pretty bad blister, so hopefully that heals up soon. But yeah, it was definitely worth it, and I had a lot of fun. And I definitely want to do a few more hikes before, you know, the weather starts getting a little chillier. I think it's actually really nice to hike when it's a little chilly, but when it starts to snow and everything, that could be a little dangerous because it's easy to slip and fall. So yeah, hopefully I get a few new hikes in. Um, yeah, you guys know I always um, ramble. Um, yeah, it's Labor Day um, for me as well, James. Um, yeah, gonna be an easy day, gonna do um, the chat, get some other things done. 
spend time with family and just enjoy you know the rest of the long weekend so i hope you guys are enjoying um your labor day as well or just um your monday if it isn't a holiday where you are living um but yeah so basically today i thought i was actually a little inspired by labor day for this topic but i thought it'd be really fun to kind of talk about like how to get things done faster um but still get them done so i'll rewind a little bit i feel like i'm the kind of person who would rather work a couple of hours on the weekend or over a long weekend um if it means my next day like my monday tuesday will be a little bit easier and a little bit shorter if that makes sense um like after um, this chat i don't really have to work um today but there are a few things that i would just like to get done for me so that i know my rest the rest of the week and the rest of the day will be a little bit easier and i can wrap up and just feel less pressured because i personally i would rather spend an extra hour to getting something done and taking my time and being really slow than feel like i have to rush something and not do um the best job i possibly can um i feel like on one note everyone is human and no one could do anything perfectly that's just not really the way life goes you know what i mean um sorry i'm looking through the comments hi everyone who's commenting i really appreciate it um but yeah especially i feel when you do things really quickly it's easy to make you know like little careless mistakes accidentally um put a wrong like letter in a wrong number in what have you forget a comma just because you feel like you're rushed and you have to get something done in an unrealistic time. But I don't know, I feel like if you kind of really take your time and don't feel pressured to meet crazy deadlines, you could kind of just do the job to the best of your abilities. Like, um, I'm pretty much, I'm just alone right now and I'm not really expecting any interruptions later in the day. I don't, I'm not expecting any calls. I'm not expecting to be around a ton of people. So I feel like it'll be easier for me to just like get in the zone and really think about what I want to do and get it done the best I can. So if you are lucky enough to ever have a few hours where you're just alone and you want to catch up on some on something and like be totally uninterrupted, I think that could be super, super helpful because you're not really relying on other people. You're kind of just getting in your own space and doing the best you can with obviously the resources you have <laughs> yeah nobody is perfect nobody is perfect we all make we make big mistakes we make careless mistakes things don't always go our way yeah i totally um, agree with you james um i think it's really important um every so often to kind of reflect on mistakes you have made and think about like how it made you a better person or what you're grateful for from that, or think about how it turned out and you're kind of glad, you know what I mean? It's like when you aren't expecting things, they happen. I totally agree with you, Steve. I agree a thousand percent. It's like people come in and out of our lives out of nowhere, um, job opportunities happen out of nowhere, like really great ones. Um, you meet really, really awesome people. And it's just everything kind of has a way of working out in its own unique way. Like even, let's say, um, I'm just thinking of an example. Um, you accidentally told a customer the wrong detail. Let's say you work at a store, a clothing store, and you accidentally told a customer the wrong detail about a piece of merchandise. Like at the moment, you might be embarrassed. It's like, oh, I'm, I feel so bad. I didn't mean to give you the wrong information. But it's kind of just being like, okay, obviously this wasn't on purpose. I'm doing the best I can. I'm very well educated in the other items, just this one I didn't know. And then it's kind of just studying up on that item and being like, okay, um, the next time a customer asks about this, I'm gonna know it and I'm gonna do like a better job in the future. And it'll just help you, you know, later in the long run in your job, you know? I know that was a kind of a random example, that was just the first thing that came to my mind. So I went ahead and shared that with you. Um, hi, Michael. Hi, everyone. Yeah, I'm doing really great. I always love seeing familiar faces. Um, I recognize so many of you guys that tune in week after week. And it just makes me so happy that we've established this like friendship, this community, and we've grown together so much. 
Um, I'm trying to remember when these chats even started. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like we started these chats in like January, February, perhaps. Um, I could be totally wrong. I'll have to double check the dates. But it's just crazy how now we're based. Well, we are in September, which is also crazy. And time just lies. Soon it'll be a year and it's just so crazy. You know what I mean? So, hi, Michael. Um, da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I'm just trying to read through the comments. Um, so, what did you say, Steve? Everything, thought, or action, either good or bad, is a learning lesson that makes a person who they are. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Steve. I agree 100%. Everything good, everything bad, everything in the middle, it totally makes you who you are today. It's like even if you got into a disagreement um, with a friend and you had a falling out with that friend like years ago, you learned how to resolve conflict, you learned how to work with other people, you learned how to like apologize, like every single lesson in every like unfortunate event, or not unfortunate event, but an event that obviously didn't go um, as planned, definitely taught you something or could definitely teach you something and make you like a more like understanding, empathetic, um, forgiving person. So yeah, I love your attitude. I love your attitude, Steve. Thanks for commenting your thoughts. And if any of you guys watching um, have any thoughts or ideas or opinions you want to share, um, please feel free to leave them. Um, it's always nice, I feel like, to have a little back and forth in our conversations as opposed to me just um, sitting here talking, even though I do love that. Again, right now I'm sitting in a big space um, totally by myself and I keep looking around. <laughs> I'm a little, a part of me is like, I hope no one interrupts me, but a little part um, doesn't mind either because that would be a little fun. Um, where were we getting at? I just totally lost my train of thought. This always happens. Yeah, respect totally goes a long way. Um, I feel like even if you don't see eye to eye with somebody, it's always important to try to be as respectful and calm and just kind as you can and kind of put them, put yourself in their shoes. It's like if a stranger um, says something disrespectful to you um, at a store, at a party, at your workplace, um, chances are it has nothing to do with you as a person. It's kind of just like you were the first person they saw and they kind of took their anger out on you. So trying to be the bigger person really does go a long way. Um, after a while, you can try and try. Sometimes you should maybe change the direction of the job. Yeah, I get that as well. Um, sometimes you'll get in a, um, like a relationship, a friendship, you'll be in a job, and then as time goes on, you realize it may not exactly be the best fit for you, and that is totally okay. Um, life is definitely like a roller coaster. Like sometimes, even if you're in the same um, career for 10 plus years, Sometimes it's time to reevaluate and think like, am I as happy right now as I was five years ago? Do I see myself being here and being really happy for 10 plus years? It's kind of just thinking about the future, but also being like mindful in the present. Because again, some things are supposed to be in your life for certain periods of time, but that does not necessarily mean it should be in your life forever. And that is totally okay. Um, yeah, I feel like we're getting really deep on this chit chat and I really like seeing um, your feedback um, in the comments. It's always really fun to hear um, your opinions and, you know, just having like a back and forth conversation with you. Sometimes you can figure it out. Yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. Um, you can, I, feel, I feel like every person you meet and every job you have, every school you go to, um, teaches you something about how you are as a person in one way or another. It may take you some time to get to that realization. Once you figure out, it's, you know, like you're really glad that that happened. Um, let go of the past and the past will let go of you. I totally, I totally agree. It's like you read these little quotes and such all the time. It's like nothing you do could change the past and nothing, and no matter how much you worry about the future, or prepare for the future like it has a weird way of just kind of giving you the unexpected and even if you plan something so well and want it to last forever sometimes it doesn't always happen and that is totally okay everything 
I feel like for me personally, I believe that everything has a way of working out the way it's supposed to, and you may not understand that right now, but that's kind of just the way life goes, and I think that's kind of a good thing. Um, for example, I got the job of my life as an intern, and I still work after five years. Yeah, totally. That's a really um, great example. Like, I'm so glad to hear that you've been there for that long, and I'm assuming that you're happy. And yeah, it's great that you found something that works for you, and at the end of the day, that is all that matters. I personally believe you can't really stay at a job that you don't love just because like you feel like you kind of have to be there to make um, your partner happy, to make your parents happy, to make your children happy. Um, of course, you kind of have to do what you have to do. Like if that is your main source of income and you don't know where else you'll be, of course, it's generally a good idea to stay there until you find something else to replace that income. But that doesn't mean that you feel like you have to stay there and not try other things. Because we live, I feel like we live in a world that is changing all the time. New jobs, new careers, new things are being invented all the time that could literally change your life. Like um, YouTube, for example, just um, how long has YouTube been around? Like, I don't know, like a little 10, 12 years and people make a very good income on there, but that wasn't exactly a thing, you know, 10, 12 years ago. Um, same with podcasting, same with certain technology spaces. So new jobs are always being invented, new career paths are being invented, and it's kind of just keeping your eyes open and seeing what's out there and not being afraid to try new opportunities that could help you or could make your life a bit better. Sometimes it's not about the love, but about our talents. I agree, I love that. Um, life is about opening doors. Every door you open and go through leads to another door and a new experience. Yeah, no, I love that. I really appreciate hearing um, all of your input, all of your ideas. It's, yeah, it's so interesting. It's like you could see a door and not really, and kind of just assume that it would never be the door for you. Because when you get so into certain habits and certain routines, it's easy to kind of just get stuck in your own way. But at the same time, like, it's not being afraid to be like, okay, this is not what I expected, but I'm going to give it a try and see how it turns out for me. Um, yeah, I really, really like seeing um, your, you have really great, um, well, you, you guys always have really great comments, but I feel like today's chat is especially great. I really, really enjoy hearing um, all of your ideas and inputs. I really do feel like it's making us closer as a community. And yeah, like I think this is just a really fun chat and I don't really want it to end because I love chatting with you guys. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna call it a day in probably about five minutes or so because um, we've been chatting for a little bit. Um, but yeah, again, I feel like the main point of this chat got twisted a little bit. But you know what? That is always the best way. Like, I think that's always fun when it happens. It's interesting to see how, like, you guys, the comments can kind of just change the direction of the topic, but, like, in a good way. And, yeah, I think this mic <laughs> is kind of fun, so I'm glad I'm... Oh, there's a bug there. Oh, sorry. I, I'm a little afraid of bugs. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're a little... Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, who else um, is afraid of bugs? <laughs> I feel like um, most of us are um, in our own way. It was one of those, um, it was, what do you call them? It was a fruit fly. It was a fruit fly. But yeah, either way, we're, we're losing track. <laughs> we're losing track of the topic again. Oh, I love that. I'm so glad that you added me. I will keep my eyes open for you. Um, so yeah, it is Monday now. It is 11.20 in the morning. Um, I'm just thinking what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I'm gonna get a few more things done and then I'm gonna, all lives mattering. Yep, yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, including bugs, um, what was I saying? Sh -sh -sh -sh. Totally just lost my train of thought. Totally just lost my train of thought. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you taking the time to come hang out and I hope you all have a really great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, bye guys.